Good afternoon, Dangles Crypto. I hope everybody's having a fantastic afternoon. We're going to be going over Power Pool. And what is Power Pool? It's similar in PyDAO. Basically, it's a protocol that builds DeFi indexes. And right now it has two. It has the Power Index as well as the Yeti Index. And Yeti is the Yearn Ecosystem Index. And that just came out. And also you can yield farm for both of them. And they're both sitting around 400% APY, which is insane. But just keep in mind they're vested, which means they you cannot take out your gains for X amount of time, right? So just keep that in mind. But let's jump right into it. Okay, so first off, shoot me a follow. I mean, Dingle Crypto 103, 200 by Christmas. Let's go. And on the way up, go out down and subscribe. And then on the way up, hit that like button. Appreciate it. Dingle Crypto Twitter, Dingle Crypto TikTok. Uh, follow me if you want up to you. Let's look at the price real quick. One thing I want to point out is this hundred million 100 million token supply and there's only six million circulating. Keep that in mind because this is this is ingrained into CVP and power pool because everything they do they have to understand the vesting schedule. Vesting is a big part of power pool. If you get into their discord, everything, everybody's talking about vesting, vesting, vesting. I mean, they just don't want a big dump of tokens. This is their main interface. Go to app. I think they came out with a new UI, but my computer doesn't like it. So that's why we're here. But let's just go to governance. So let me explain what meta governance is. And power pool is one of the first protocols to implement meta governance. Basically, since they control indexes, right? And indexes hold a bunch of different DeFi protocol tokens. And each one of them, each one of these tokens, just let's for example, say one of these indexes hold compound tokens. And compound tokens has voting power on compound proposals. So when it's in this index, and there's no person owning this token, right? Who gets to vote? CVP holders. So if you own CVP, you can vote on all these different proposals from all these different protocols, right? And that's pretty much the utility of CVP token. There's a, a maybe a couple other utilities, but other than that, that's the main utility. It's a, it's a meta governance token. So keep that in mind. And how do you value that? That's a question to ask yourself um, because I don't know how to value that. Um, but mining, let's get into mining real quick. This is the yield farming. Okay, so look at this, 566. And this is just CVP ETH UniV2 pool, which basically is just adding liquidity to their token pool on Uniswap. 566%. And this is the power index uh, yield farming. And then this is uh, on balancer and then Yeti and then yeti eth on balancer right and look at these 389 not too shabby guys not too shabby i mean 300 percent apy man you'd be pressed to find that anywhere else um obviously there's a lot of barrier variables in that obviously risk tolerance and inflation of tokens and there's a lot of other uh i mean you can just look at it like this so you're going to get a liquidity token and then Per token, you get 17 CVP per month. So you get 100 in here, you earn 1,700 CVP a month. So just understand that. Um, next is the bridge. I want to talk about the bridge quick. So with the bridge, you can send tokens from the Ethereum mainnet to XDAI, right? So XDAI is Ethereum's sister chain, and PowerPool is one of the best protocols to put tokens on the XDAI chain. And what can you do on XDAI? Not much right now. There's a, a swap called HoneySwap. So HoneySwap is basically Uniswap, but on XDAI and allows for cheaper transactions. And um, we might go over HoneySwap here soon. Although HoneySwap hasn't had much volume of late because Ethereum's fees have been relatively low. But if the gas prices go up again, that's something to keep in mind. Um, and swap and swap is kind of interesting because uh, there's a 0.1 percent uh, community fee community commission my computer has been really slow of late I um, apologize everything's loading um, but 0.1 percent um, and that goes to your pool so basically I believe 
but I believe, you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe the pools the indexes provide liquidity to this swap, uh, this swap exchange right here. So this is just a swap function. You can swap tokens and uh, indexes provide liquidity and this there's a fee associated with this and that fee goes back to the index right so so you also this index is earning fees as well from this swap function one premise i say with that is i don't know how much volume this this swap is doing like why would you use this swap over just going to uniswap or going to balancer or going i think it's kind of just a I don't want to it's not a scam i mean i'm sure it works fine and it does exactly what it says it does but it seems like uh they try to make a selling point that i mean nope i don't think anybody's going to use this personally maybe once in a while just because people don't know what i don't know why they would use this like why would they use this i don't know but let's go over pools this is the indexes come on baby come on baby come on Work, 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 work. Come on. Oh my God, you freaking sucker. Oh boy, my internet's down. Let's uh, disconnect and reconnect. God dang it. <laughs> so, hey, be patient. If I see a di dip, if I see a dip right now in, in my watching. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're back. We're back in action. Here we go. <laughs> this is the power index right here. See this community fee, 0.1%. And then um, we got the Yeti protocol right here, or the Yeti uh, index. And here's YFI, Sushi, Cream, Acro, all the ones you like to see. Keeper is interesting. I'm going to look in that one a little further. So uh, total supply, you just cut. Here's the contract address. You copy this and go to balancer. Copy this if you want. If you want the Yeti index, copy this. Go to Balancer, buy it, and then you got the Yeti index, and then you have exposure to all these assets right here. So, <clears throat> vesting is big. Oracle, Oracle is just a tab to know where the price action, price uh, information is coming from. From and then vesting is is um just the vesting schedule. So I'm not going to waste your time with those. It's very, it's just formalities, right? So, okay, in a nutshell, this is what CVP, okay, what's the value proposition of CVP, right? Okay, in a nutshell, new index equals accumulation of voting power in new tokens equals accumulation, accumulated voting power in hands of CV, CVP grows and become diversified across DeFi ecosystem. So how much do you value that? utility i mean i mean it sounds pretty nice but obviously it, it the variables are the adoption of the indexes and a couple other ones but just keep that in mind right there that's the value proposition of cvp so how much do you value this proposition that's a question for you because that's what you're buying right here uh, you can speculate but this is what you're actually buying right here right here don't lose sight of that. Yearn, we went over this the other day. I just wanted to show this. What this uh, this is what the Yeti index is over, right? So, Discord, one of the most active Discords I've been a part of. Very, very nice. Doctor Gonzo, he's awesome. He's everywhere. I follow him on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. Uh, he's uh, he's very active in the community. Very good guy. But, anyways. Here we go, the Twitter, last but not least. Uh, I mean, they've been putting out some good content, Yeti. But at the end of the day, so one thing I wanna put in the back of your mind, what do you think? Do you think PyDAO is better? I want you to comment below because I do have my own opinions. Is PyDAO better than PowerPool and why? And who will will uh, PowerPool partner with uh, Yearn? Or will Power, PowerPool partner with Yearn or neither? Huh. All right. That's all for today, guys. Thanks for sticking with me through the internet connection issue. All right. Peace out.